This is my series of Body in Love with Lucy, all about making you feel body confident. Now, today's workout, we are on day 22 from the challenge, and today's a really tough one. It's all about boosting your calorie burn. Now, we are going to be doing a skipping exercise as a 20 second interval. If you haven't got a skipping rope, it doesn't matter because you can mimic skipping, and also you could alternatively do high knees. But if you have got a skipping rope, hit the pause button now, go and grab it, and then also it's really important do make sure you've done a warm-up first if you haven't march on the spot again hit that pause button march on the spot for one minute if not we'll go straight into today's workout so the first move you're doing you do a little pulsing squat and then laterally you're going to step out to one side so you pulse and then you're actually gonna step out. So we're doing this for 40 seconds. Now you've got two alternatives. If you want a lower impact or a slightly easier version, if you're a beginner, follow me up in the top left hand corner. It's good. So how today's workout works is you're gonna do one move for 40 seconds, then you do a 20 second interval of skipping. You can mimic skipping or you can skip with your rope. And then I give you another dynamic compound move, a bit like what we're doing with this one, but the nice thing is you're not repeating any of these 40 second moves, okay? That's good, and we're doing literally four of these, so it's gonna fly by three, let's go two and one. So now you're gonna come up simply introducing your skipping, so grab that skipping rope and you're just gonna do that 20 seconds. So for this one, if you don't wanna skip, you could just do high knees on the spot. That's it, well done. And so it's a quick workout today. You are having longer workouts throughout the week. I'm just trying to give you a real mix so then you've got a library of lots of different workouts, two and one. So your next move coming up here, you are simply gonna be doing star jumps. So you're doing these for 40 seconds. The timer will come up in a minute. If you don't wanna do the full star jump, do these lateral side lifts. So you're literally taking both the same side, arm and leg out to the side. Now 40 seconds to do star jumps, actually a really long time. So if you find you're getting a little bit tired and you're working too hard, then you can just swap doing the jump and follow me on the left. But you are well over halfway now. Remember you're only doing this once. And the point of today's workout is to induce that effect known as EPOC, excess post-oxygen consumption. So it just means your body is gonna be burning huge amounts of calories for hours hours and hours afterwards. So we're challenging ourselves now, but you're gonna reap the benefits. All right, two and one. Now you're straight back to skipping. So your skipping rope, if you haven't got the skipping rope, you could just pretend, so you can mimic. Um, you can do the jump, you can do the arms. If you don't wanna do the high impact, then you follow me on the left. And actually this is really good because you're marching and you're toning your arms at the same time. And also if you're doing that, just focus on keeping your abs really tight. Let's go three two and one. All right, so the next move we've got coming up, this time we're gonna do a knee crunch and then a jump down. So it's one knee, then the other knee, and then jump out. All right, so 40 seconds, knee, knee, and jump it out. So if you're not wanting to do the impact, just follow me on the left. So you go knee lift and then do a squat down. That's good. So these moves, these 40 second ones, are what I call like multi-compounds. So these are major, major calorie burners. So today we are doing lots of things. We're burning off loads of calories, but also we're focusing on your afterburn, but I'm also focusing on toning up all your major muscle groups and also working through all three planes of emotion, which is sagittal, lateral, and transverse. So I'm ensuring we are covering that in today's workout. All right, let's go three, take it two, and then a one, and you are well done, well done. Okay, so next one, let's just come back, 20 seconds. So you've got skipping, or remember if you want to, you could just be running around the room, high knees, you could be dancing on the spot. This is your kind of like freestyle move. If you are doing the one on the left, then focus on marching and keeping those tummy muscles tight and you're toning your arms because you're mimicking that skipping move. Three, two, and one. All right, so our next big multi-compound move is the one I call netball jump. I love this move. So it's a deep side step and then a big power jump. So you just step it across and then jump it up. All right, well done. So if you wanna work really hard with this, jump so high and when you step across, I want you to step super wide. Imagine you're stepping over the widest puddle and also squat really low as you 
travel across on there. Okay, so there's lots of ways you can make this move more challenging. If you're following me on the left, you can still do all that. You're just not doing the jump. So you can still step that low and across. And here is more what we call a lateral move. So we're focusing a little bit more on the muscles that run through the side of your body as well as still your major muscle groups. So reach it up. You've just got four seconds. Go three, take it two, and then one. All right, well done. So you're straight back into your skipping. So we'll just grab that skipping rope straight into it. And remember, as I said, you can do it without using a skipping rope. I did it in the studio for 20 seconds with a skipping rope, but actually when I'm doing this workout at home, I just mimic the move. I actually do it without the skipping rope. All right, let's go. Last five seconds coming up. Four, three, two, and then one. Amazing, well done. So that is today's workout complete. It was super quick, but I bet you anything you feel challenged. I definitely did. If you didn't, then there's nothing stopping you pressing rewind and doing that whole routine once more. But well done. I'm going to quickly run through some stretches. If you need to, hit that pause button to grab some water. If not, we'll go straight into doing a calf stretch. Okay, so just make sure you've got that heel down on that leg behind, just leaning into that stretch. Especially as we've done a lot, if you were doing the skipping today, it's important just to stretch through those muscles. And let's now take that to the opposite leg. And again, just leaning into it, feeling that stretch. Well done. Okay, and then our next stretch, let's work through those hamstrings, making sure we're not going to get tight hamstrings and just extend that leg in front. Just feel the stretch running up through the back of the upper thigh. And then just you can lift the toes if you want to just intensify that stretch. And just running up on the left, all these pictures, these are from all my um, blogs. And I've got my how-to series, which you can read on my website. Lots of different articles, features, and fitness motivation. There's loads on there. And that's at lwrfitness.com. All right, let's now just go for doing a quad stretch. So we're just going to take that leg behind so you're just holding on around the foot area just make sure that supporting leg is slightly bent and just feel that running up through the front of the thigh so as I said today's workout it just increases your metabolism so you know this is a really good one you can still do these like I get a lot of people asking should I do them I can only train in the evening but you know that doesn't matter the fact you're training is the most important thing if you have a preference Definitely if you do it first thing in the morning, you've just set your metabolism for the rest of the day. You feel amazing. But if you're doing it at night time, well, that's fine because you're then going to be burning more calories while you sleep. You know, so either is as effective as each other. All right, well done. And also with these workouts that I do, because we're doing so many multi-compound moves, you are activating more muscle fibers. And the more active muscle fibers you have, the more calories your body is burning. Okay, that's it, well done. And let's now just reach that up. So we're just taking the fingertips down in between the shoulder blades. And as I always say, it's because these are short workouts is why people get results and they don't lose the results. You know, you do an intense workout program, you know, a 30 day, do this, you're sweating, you're dying, and it's kind of just spending, you're spending ages doing it. Realistically, you're never going to do that for the rest of your life. And this is, this channel is all about lifestyle. This is a continual journey. We're all on together. It's not a pit stop. Okay, well done. And then that is your workout complete. So let me know if you've got any questions. If not, I'll see you back tomorrow on my channel. And we're going to be doing a toning workout. So well done. And let's really go for it. This is the final part or the final week for this challenge. So I'll see you tomorrow.